We all have to start somewhere. Behind me is the BMW 1 Series, the entry gateway into BMW ownership. Let's check it out. What we have is the BMW 118i Sport. I won't go much into technicalities, but it is now front-wheel drive, unlike its previous generation and the other BMW models na rear-wheel drive. This also has an effect to its overall design, kaya i-discuss natin yan pa unti, unti First, sa pricing. The BMW 118i Sport is priced at 2,790,000 Philippine pesos. Again, it's the most affordable model in BMW's Philippine lineup. Let's talk about styling. It's undoubtedly BMW. Talagang very in your face yung big signature kidney grill design niya. And sometimes it looks like a pig pangai, but it grew on some of us. But still, we would prefer it to be a little smaller though. Standard here are your full LED headlights, your hexagonal LED DRLs, and since sport version nga to, sportier yung bumper design niya. And maganda yung shade ng blue dito, bagay na bagay sa kanya. The side is also undoubtedly BMW. You have here sa rear window, what you call the Hofmeister Kink. So ito siya. And then since this is a sport variant nga, you have a nice 17-inch two-tone alloy wheels wrapped in 225-45 Hankook run flat tires. And since this is a front-wheel drive, shorter na yung hood niya. At night, you have a very nice welcome lights na lumalabas dito sa door handles niya. Color white yon. Plus, you have BMW name na nakaproject dito sa ground. At the back, the 1 Series shows a very good-looking design. You have LED taillights as well, which look very elegant and sharp. Ayan, kitang-kita nyo palang dito. And you also have a very nice finisher dito sa kanyang exhaust plus a small rear spoiler. So inside, you have 380 liters of cargo capacity. That's 20 liters more than the previous generation thanks to it being a front-wheel drive na. And then, ayan, nakikita nyo, malaki yung space niya. Also, you can open the floor with this cover. So, tataas lang natin tong cover niya. And then, ayan, meron ka ng storage here nakasya ang isang gimbal. But, uh, ang di lang natin sure dito if the 380 included na yung sa ilalim. But still, this one is very competitive compared to other larger uh, compact crossovers kasi sa iba, mas maliit pa nga. You can see na malayo ako sa steering wheel but we have a memory seat feature dito sa loob. So, nakaset na yung number 2 sa akin. So, pag pinindot ko yan, Automatic na siya mag adjust sa sinet kong uh, height and yung uh, seat for me. So here inside, it's um, very BMW. Sobrang identical niya dun sa BMW 3 Series na review namin a few months back. And even if uh, entry level lang to, still, it doesn't feel that way. You have all the soft touch plastics here on the dashboard, even here on the door panels, and dito sa handle, and you also have yung leather material where you needed it to be like dito sa side ng door. Plus, you have this textured pattern plastic here in front and also here on the side of the door which has mood lighting inside na pwede mo palitan yung color at night. So, uh, it makes your cabin cooler and uh, it feels a lot better. The seats are wrapped in fabric and Sensatec leather and since sport seat nga to, mas comfortable siya. You can also adjust the bolsters here sa driver side so pwede pang mas nakahag pa siya. And, What's nice is that meron siyang thigh support. So, pwede mong i-adjust yung thigh support mo by just uh, pulling this. Meron siyang pindutan dito sa baba. You can just pull it to your desired uh, position. And yun, uh, it can give you a more comfortable ride, lalo na pag sa long drives. And then for the steering wheel naman, you have your usual BMW steering wheel and wrapped in leather siya, syempre. Tapos, um, Limited nga lang yung mga buttons mo dito, you have your cruise controls and you have your audio controls here and para din sa instrument cluster. And then for the horn, ayan, uh, your usual European horn na sounds very very nice. Then speaking of instrument cluster, itong instrument cluster, it looks like digital but it's not. Kasi may ginawa sila dito, I don't know what they did, na nagmukha siyang um, fully digital pero hindi. And then it's your usual analog gauges lang. You have your uh, display here in the middle na medyo maliit and medyo limited lang din yung mga pinapakita niya information like yung mileage and yung um, trip information. Moving forward, you have an 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen iDrive system. 
sadly, wala siyang Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it is a shame kasi for most vehicles na less than half of its price, meron na mga ganong features. But still, nevertheless, um, maganda pa rin siya. It's very HD. Ayan, nakikita nyo. And it's also very responsive. Plus, it's easy to use and to navigate. So, hindi ka mahirapan gamitin to. And to avoid mga fingerprints, you also have this dial here on the center console na pwede mo gamitin to control your infotainment system. And when you put it on reverse, ayan, lalabas dito sa screen mo, you have your camera na very HD, it's very bright. You also have dynamic guidelines na very, very useful and helpful. You also have this small car here on the side na papakita niya yung sensors mo. So, uh, it's very nice, it's easy to uh, use this and very helpful talaga siya. You also have here the AC controls na mga button siya and they are easy to use. Mabilis mo man makita kung which one you're pressing. And what's nice is that meron siyang sariling display here in the middle so hindi ka mahihirapan. Below your AC controls, you have your additional buttons and controls para sa radio mo. So ito yung volume knob and then mga naka-preset na dito sa gitna. Then moving on sa baba, you have storage for your phones. So ayan. And then, pwede mo pa siyang ma-push para mag-hold siya talaga in place. And then, you have two cup holders, your 12-volt power outlet, and then you have USB charging port right here. You have your electronic uh, gear shifter, and then you have your stability control button, you have your parking sensors button, your auto start stop button, push start button, your different driving modes, you have sport, comfort, and eco pro, you have auto hold, and you have electronic parking brake. Tapos yung dial na sinasabi ko kanina to control your infotainment, nandito din siya sa right side. And then you have this uh, center armrest na merong USB Type-C charging port inside. So check naman natin yung second row. Actually, it's really spacious dito sa second row napansin ko. Even though na small hatchback siya, spacious pa rin. Uh, even though meron ka uh, center tunnel right here, hindi mo siya mafeel na talagang nakablock siya. And look at my legroom. It's really really nice. And even my foot room, ayan, medyo malaking space niya. Tapos sa headroom naman, pwede na, sakto lang siya, hindi siya ganun kalaki, but it's good. And then you have your own aircon vents here in the middle. You have two Type-C USB ports, so good yan kasi it's very modern. Plus you have two back pockets here. And yung mga materials mo, soft touch pa rin siya everywhere. And you have your mood lighting. Wala nga lang siyang center armrest here in the middle, just like the Audi A1. Pero okay lang naman. And yung materials niya, everything, the seats, still very comfortable. Under the hood, the BMW 118i Sport is powered by a 1.5-liter 3-cylinder twin-powered turbo petrol engine with 140 horsepower and 220 newton-meters of torque paired to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. Let's take it out on a test drive. Safety features on the 2021 BMW 118i Sport are 6 airbags, ABS, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, side impact protection, BMW parking assistant, and ISOFIX. Being a BMW, expect talaga natin na it drives really well. And it really does. So pagpasok ko pa lang dito, and then when I started moving, instantly na in love ako. Kasi I can really feel the difference. Yung engine niya, it's very punchy, it's very torquey. And um, yung pulling power niya, it's really there. So alam mong marami siyang power on reserve. Few months back, na-review ko na yung 318i. And I can really say na this one is different, this one is better. Especially sa... Uh, handling and sa steering niya. It's very sharp and direct. Plus, yung uh, steering feels niya, ito, oh, at times, mabigat siya. But it's a good uh, kind of bigat. So, hindi siya yung uh, kainisan mo or yung nakapago this year. No, it's, hindi siya ganun. So, because of that, alam na alam mo na connected ka sa road and you will feel more confident, secured, and really safe when you're driving either slowly or kapag mas mabilis ka na. So let's talk about the engine again. So kanina nasabi ko nga na it has 140 horsepower and 220 newton meters of torque and that's already more than enough. Kasi talagang mafe-feel mo yung uh, power niya, yung torquiness niya. Lalo na when you combine it pa with magandang steering and handling. Kaya nung uh, nagda-drive nga kami sa highway, 
hindi na namin napansin na we're going over the speed limit kasi you you'll feel like na you're driving uh, less than that. So mas mabagal, ganun yung pakiramdam kasi ganun siya kaganda. And of course, paired to a very nice ride quality and NVH insulation, talagang maganda siya. Like sa ride quality, we didn't expect it to be as smooth as it is or even better than the 318i pa nga. For the NVH insulation, yung road noise, hindi mo gano'ng maririnig. The same with the wind noise, halos wala din. And then, yung sa engine, ganun din, hindi mo masyado maririnig. Kaya talagang it's perfect pagdating sa aspect nito. Going back to the ride quality, it really absorbs the bumps really well. Lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, alam mo naman, maraming mga uh, bumps sa daan, mga lubak, and nakakayanan niya. The engine is also very refined while on the move. Kaya lang mayroon kaming two things na gusto, niyang, uh, gusto namin na i-improve niya. Which is, uh, number one, yung uh, kapag isa-start mo pa lang yung engine mo, eh, medyo malakas yung vibrations. And that's uh, maybe because three-cylinder yung engine niya. And then second, kapag naka-auto start-stop ka, pag uh, mamamatay yung engine, pag magbubukas siya ulit, dun, uh, malakas-lakas yung vibrations niya. The 118i gives you a good balance of comfort and sportiness. So it can give you comfort kapag uh, sa mga daily drives mo, and it can give you a sporty performance kapag medyo nagiging boring na yung drive mo. For the fuel economy, nakakuha kami ng 22 km per liter sa highway, and kapag kinombine mo na siya sa city, Uh, nasa average ng 13 to 15 kilometers per liter and mix yun ng uh, standstill ng city and ng highway na. So now we will be trying the parking assist features of the BMW 118i. So hanap tayo ng parking space. So una-una, we need to press this button with the parking sensor and this one. Yung may sign na ganyan. Yan. Once na na-activate mo na siya, Pipindutin lang natin dito yung park assist uh, uh, button or yung atong choice dito para mag-activate. So, ayan. To park, switch on turn indicator. So, we'll be choosing kung saan tayo. So, to the right, you can choose between diagonal or parallel. So, we're going to choose diagonal. Okay, so, it says we should press the start to maneuver. So, I, re I will release the parking brake. And there. So, sabi dito, you observe the surroundings and intervene if necessary. So, ayan. Ayan, nakahanap siya. So, we can see na it's um, turning the steering wheel on its own and kinakalculate niya yung space na pagpaparkingan niya. So, now moving forward. And ayan. So, tinatabi niya dun sa vehicle. So, and it's adjusting on its own. there. Ayan. So, medyo napansin nyo na parang mabagal siya, no? Kasi, I don't know ano yung reason nun, eh yung ibang sasakyan like uh, the Geely and yung sa territory, mabilis sila. Sa kanya, medyo mabagal. So, I don't know bakit ganun. Nakakatawa lang. <laughs> Kasi ang bagal niya. Pero, okay naman siya. Nakapark siya ng maayos and it was able to guide the driver as well. So, yun. And so, lumipat tayo ng parking ngayon. Kung kanina, uh, it, the car was able to help us uh, get in a parking slot. Ngayon, kaya naman niya tayong tulungan na uh, mag-reverse palabas ng parking space natin ngayon. And kasi, that's because uh, nire-record niya yung kung paano tayo pumasok in, uh, nung una pa lang. So, we will be doing that right now. So, lalagay muna natin siya sa reverse. Yan there. And then, eto uh, itong second choice dito sa button ayan so nag steer na siya and then iyan mo lang kailangan mo lang siyang i-release yung uh, brake manually so kailangan mo pa rin tumingin din sa likod if there are other vehicles na 
lumalapit or paparating. So, ayan. There. So, ayan. Kung paano tayo pumasok kanina, pinakita niya ulit kung uh, paano naman tayo lumabas. Ganun pa rin. Same pa rin siya. The BMW 1 Series is definitely a great choice if you want a more affordable but still full package. BMW is a perfect daily driver if you're looking for practicality, fun driving dynamics, and premium comfort. This is the way to go.